subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about uh, mean, variance and standard deviation. In order to understand uh, standardization, we must understand these basic things like mean, variance and standard deviation. In this class, we will discuss about mean, variance and standard deviation. In our next class, we will discuss about standardization. Okay, coming to mean, how to calculate the mean? This is the basic thing everyone knows about how to calculate the mean given the data set is uh, data is given like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is the data values which provided so total how many values they have provided 10 values how we calculate the mean sum all those values and divide by total number of values what is, what are the number of values how many number of values 10 that's why we are dividing by 10 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 divided by 10 what's the value mean is equal to 5.5 so mean is given with a symbol called mu from now onwards if you are using mu means it's the value of a mean coming to variance variance is given in a sigma square sigma square is a uh, symbolically represented as a variance how we calculate the variance variance is calculated using a summation of i is equal to 1 to n xi minus mu whole square divided by n what's the n value here n means number of data points given how many data points we have given 10 different data points i is equal to 1 to n 1 to 10 xi minus mu what is the mean value mu means mean value mean value is 5.5 xi means take the first one take the second one take the third one xi xi means first i is equal to 1 to n take the first one 1 minus 5.5 how much is the value minus 4.5 whole square minus 4.5 whole square plus summation that is what sigma means summation 2 minus 5.5 which is minus 3.5 whole square minus 2.5 whole square minus 1.5 whole square minus 0.5 whole square 6 minus 5.5 which is 0.5 whole square 1.5 2.5 3.5 4.5 whole square summation of all those values divided by divided by we are dividing with 10 this is what variance means this is how we calculate the variance so what we are calculating in variance observe it here 1 minus 5.5 what that mean from 1 to distance what is 5.5 from 1 to mean what's the we are calculating the distance so 1 minus 5.5 we are getting the distance of this data point up to mean take the second data point up to mean what's the distance we are calculating the distance so what what we can say from this as the distance increases variance value increases as the distance decreases variance value decreases so 9.16 take a second data set data is equal to 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 17 19 mean value is given as 10 and uh, variance value is given as 36.66 why why this value is we are having big value when compared to this one see the mean value is 10 here from 10 how much the data has been spread it is spread up to 1 means the difference between 1 minus 10 means it spread 9 units to the left and it spread 9 units to the right hand side as the data has a large spread the variance value will increase means distance from the mean will increase that's what we are calculating here so as the distance from the mean value increases means data has a large spread as the data spread increases variance value increases as the spread of the data decreases variance value decreases that's why we are having mean value uh, uh, variance value 36.66 coming to standard deviation standard deviation is given as a sigma sigma is equal to square root of variance sigma square is equal to variance 
when you take the square to the other side we will get square root of variance means this equation sigma standard deviation is given as a square root of variance so what's the standard deviation here sigma is equal to square root of 36.66 66 which is a six it's around six point something six point something so take one more example data is equal to 5.5 5.6 5.7 5.8 5.9 .5 and 6 what's the mean value here mean value is 5.75 from 5.75 how much spread it is this data is what's the largest spread uh, we are having uh, we are having up to 5.5 mean it means it's around uh, 0.25 we are having uh, the spread is less that's why variance value is 0.035 you understand as the spread increases variance value increases so we are having big variance value means the data has been spread we are having a larger spread in the data this is the important point you have to understand so from this we will discuss about uh, standardization in our next class hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you